Really? Wow. That's so, yeah. Folks, uh, I think they get to Friday and they go, I don't want to do yoga. <laughs> I agree. I agree. All right, folks, we'll get started. My name is Taylor. This is a 60 minute deep stretch class. So we'll warm up a little bit just to bring some heat into the body. But most of the class is going to be focused on um, getting into the fascia, opening up the joints and any places that may have gained some tension or con uh, contraction throughout the week. Um, can somebody just, I'm noticing that I haven't gotten any chats today. So can someone who's on Zoom give me a thumbs up to let me know the audio is working all right? Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. The most important thing today is to remember that the job is enjoyment. If your body likes something, it's gonna feel good. <laughs> Even if that's engagement or building heat, there's a difference between pain or true discomfort and the sensation of building heat that feels good in the body. So please listen to that differentiation, play with it. And anything that doesn't feel great, modify it or just come out of the posture completely. Do what feels good in your body and really practice, take this as an opportunity to practice listening to that. All right, so we'll start seated. So find a comfortable seat, cross-legged, if that works for your body. If not, you can be on your knees and maybe you need to be on your back today and that's completely fine too. I'm sitting on a block to elevate my hips over the knees for a little bit more ease and comfort. So please do utilize the props throughout the practice to make yourself more comfortable and invite more openness into the body. So you settle here into your seat. Rock back and forth a little bit, finding your flesh and the bones in the body that's creating contact and pushing force down into the prop beneath you or the floor beneath you. And as you allow yourself to fully come to a neutral center stillness with a spine upright over the hips, bring the gaze down to a point on the floor in front of you. And as you keep the gaze focused here in front of you, take an inventory of what thoughts are coming through the mind? What images, what movies from past or future may be playing in this moment? And can you look at these with a sense of curiosity? I often think I know what I'm thinking until I take a good look. And sometimes I'm surprised. Allow the eyes to close. And as we continue to watch these images, thoughts floating through the mind, can you siphon away some of your awareness to the sounds around you? Just taking a scan of the environment through this auditory sense that becomes heightened when we remove the visual. No need to respond to the sounds or resist them, just to notice. And releasing the scan of the auditory environment, begin to bring the focus now to the body. And take a quick scan, very quick, from head to toe, just taking note of any prominent sensations that are there, any lack thereof? Are there any spaces perhaps that in your body that you can't even quite find sensation around? That can be just as valuable information as the presence of loud sensation. Once you've taken note of a few things you're noticing in the body, Begin to bring the awareness to the center of the body that is impacted by the breath. And as you rest your mind's eye here on the torso, 
take a big inhale through the nose if it's available, through the mouth if you're a bit congested. And as you exhale, give an open mouth sigh. And then continue next five rounds of breath, really intentionally bringing in as much air as you can, filling up the lungs so that the collarbones open, maybe the shoulders raise a little bit, the ribs expand out to either side like wings. Continue, keep bringing in air until it reaches the bottom of the belly, opening up the lower back, releasing the abdominal wall. allowing the body, giving it full permission to expand in all three dimensions with this intentional diaphragmatic breath. And releasing the intention and the controlling of the breath, allow it to return to its natural, normal pace and depth. Noticing the difference between that empowered, intentional breath and what arises naturally as you release control. Invite a one word intention to bring into your practice or quality, whether that be focus, release, surrender, engagement, embodiment. Allow the first word that arises to come to mind and carry that with you into this practice. Getting curious about where it shows up, where it may have come from to begin with. And to acknowledge and affirm our intent to bring in this quality into our practice and to show up today for each other and for ourselves. Bring the hands together to touch at heart center, palms pressing into each other, fingertips pressing into their counterpart on the other hand. And gently bow the head to the heart. Release the arms, take in some light with the eyes. Allowing your visual sense a moment to reorient to the space that you're in. And as you enliven yourselves, taking in a couple deep breaths from this awakened sense, begin to bring some engagement into the body to shift yourself off of any props that you may have been on or just shift your feet a little to signal to the nervous system that we're moving into a new place of the practice. And in any comfortable cross-legged position, take an inhale, sweeping the arms out and up overhead. Gaze can follow, fingertips touch, maybe palms press together. As you exhale, release the arms out to the side. Root that left palm into the ground beside you. And on the next inhale, sweep the right arm out, up, and over, bending that left elbow until you come into a lateral side bend here. Inhale back up to, through center. Exhale over to the side. Take three more bends to this left side with the pace of your breath, allowing your body to dictate how fast or slow this movement is. And on this last bend to the side, take a little sustaining here, really reaching through the fingertips, opening up that right side body. And then root down into the left hand and push yourself back up with a little bit of force, bringing both arms up overhead. Palms touch, grow a little taller out of the spine. As you exhale, release the right palm to the floor, arcing over to the right. Coming into a side bend on the other side as you inhale, allow yourself to return back to the center spot. Exhale, 
over to the right. Few more bends to the side with the pace of your breath. Noticing any differences in sensations that are on the side. And as you bend, can you root the opposite sit bone into the floor beneath you? So as you bend over to the right, rooting that left sit bone down. One more bend to this side and sustain here, really reaching through those left fingertips, opening up the armpit, the rib cage, and grounding into that right hand, push yourself back up, palm touch at center, and release the arms down to either sides of your space. Take a few shoulder rolls to the back. <laughs> now plant the palms in front of you. And as you do this, either swing both legs out to one side or allow yourself to roll over on top until you find yourself in a tabletop position with the feet kicked out behind you. This is a great place to utilize a knee pad if you have one or some blankets. Bring the knees hip width distance apart. So the knees are rooting into the floor right under each hip, wrists underneath the shoulders, fingertips pressing into the earth just as much as the base of that palm is. From here, take an inhale and pull your heart through your shoulder blade, through your collarbone towards the front of your space letting the belly drop, coming into a cow stretch. And as you exhale, curl the tailbone under, navel comes to spine, chin comes to chest, and come into this big spooky cat stretch, opening up that back body. You inhale, let the belly drop, pull the heart forward, gaze comes up, coming back into a cow stretch. Take two more of these flexions and extensions of the spine with the breath. Next time you exhale, allow the spine to come to a neutral position. Tuck the toes under and fire up the backs of the legs, the inner line of the legs, as if you're going to lift your knees off the ground, but without actually moving. Feel that lower belly engagement, a slight tuck of the tail under. And then check in with the arms and see if you can get that same engagement on the inner line of the arms as if you have a big beach ball between your upper arms that you're squeezing together. And from the foundation of your toes pressing into the earth and all the support you've generated, begin to hover the knees just a few inches off of the floor. Option here to tap dance, tap dance the knees up and down for a little bit less heat or let them hover. We'll take a few breaths here. and release the knees to the earth. Untuck the toes, begin to walk the hands back towards the knees until you come up into a standing kneeling position. From here, tuck the toes back under to re-engage the backs of the legs. Squeeze the glutes in a little bit to tuck the tail under, reaching it towards the floor. As you inhale, sweep both arms out to the side into a T position. Flip the left palm towards the back of your space and take and place the back of your hand on the lower part of your back. If this is a little bit too much on the shoulder, no problem, just let bring the hand to your hip. On your next exhale, sweep that right arm forward in front of you, bringing it around to wrap around the opposite shoulder. And as you inhale, sweep the arm back towards its original position and allow yourself to actually twist towards this other side. So your right palm is reaching towards the back of your space, coming into a gentle spine twist. As you exhale, bring the palm all the way back forward around you, give, drawing this big circle, giving yourself a little half hug. Take two more rounds of breath with this big circling. 
letting the gaze follow with the fingertips. Keeping a little bit of engagement in the lower belly to support the low back from collapsing in on itself. Next time the arm sweeps out back to its original T position, inhale the other arm back out, flip both palms forward. Take a big stretch here, really engaging the hands away from the body, bringing a stretch all the way through the inner line of the arms. And as you exhale, flip the right palm towards the back of your space, place the right palm on the lower back or on the hip. And exhale, sweep the left hand around your space, giving yourself a little hug. Inhaling, bringing the hand all the way around towards the back of your space, taking a twist to the left. Take a few more of these rotations, checking in with your right shoulder, making sure that you're respecting any stretch it brings into that joint. Next time that left palm is reaching out to the side of your space, leave it there. Inhale the right palm up back into this T position. Bring the palms all the way up overhead to touch. And as you exhale, bring the arms out towards your sides and place the palms in front of you on the floor, coming back into this tabletop position. From here, tuck the toes under. Take a little moment to do one last hover, engaging the lower belly, tucking the tailbone under, knees come off the floor a little bit. Maybe lift the hips a little bit higher and then begin to, with baby steps, walk your toes forward until the feet come underneath your body. So you're in a forward fold, knees bend any amount to support the hamstrings, the lower back. You can pedal out the, the knees here a little bit, opening things up. Bend the knees a lot and begin to slowly roll yourself up to a standing position, one vertebrae at a time. So the head and neck come last. Take a big shoulder roll to the back. And root the feet right underneath the hips. So the feet are hip width distance apart. Find your foundation here, pressing into the ball mound of the big toe, the outside edge of both feet and the heels. It's really finding the three or four corners of each foot. Use the force that you have through your legs to push the feet down into the floor, allowing yourself to grow taller out of the earth. Flip the palms towards the front of your space, heart open, tailbone tucked slightly under, Take two rounds of breath here in mountain pose, Tadasana. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the hands to hips and sit the hips back and down, coming into a chair pose. So hips are coming back as if you're sitting straight into a chair. Knees stay in line over the feet, lower belly engaged. Tuck the tailbone either under or allow it to scoop out a little bit, finding where it feels best for your lower back and your particular spine curve. Option here to just sustain or to begin sweeping the arms up and down with the breath. Coming into a bit of a movement meditation as we build the last bit of heat in our foundation. On your next exhale, allow yourself to completely collapse over the front of your legs. Coming back into a forward fold. 
Allow the head to hang heavy. Spine to really pull out of the tailbone and down. As you inhale, can you send the breath through the back line of the body all the way down the spine, through the sacrum and let it trickle down the backs of the legs, bringing some space, some opening to this back line of fascia. Bend the knees, plant the palms into the earth, step one foot back and then the other option here to move through a bit of a downward dog or come straight down to table if you're not feeling a down dog today. If you are in down dog, really use the strength of your palms to press into the earth just as much as your feet are. Puddle out the backs of the legs. If you're in tabletop, really take a moment to find your foundation here, this lower point of gravity. And if you've moved through downward dog, go ahead and lower the knees to the earth. As we all meet in tabletop. From here, swing the feet to one side, allow your hips to sit down to the other, coming back into a seated position. <coughs> Excuse me. Cross the legs. If you are wanting a little bit more of an IT band and hip flexor stretch today, you can stack one leg on top of the other so that knees and ankles are stacked, opposite knees and ankles are stacked, and your shins are parallel to the hip line of your body. Otherwise, stay in a cross-legged position if this is plenty stretch. And as you inhale, hold the knees with your hands and reach up through the spine, opening the heart, getting a little baby back bend. As you exhale, come back to a completely straight spine and begin to walk the hands forward in front of you any amount until you start to feel a stretch in the hips that feels good. Remember, the job is enjoyment here. Allow yourself to release the straight spine and curve over any amount. If you have a block or pillow, you could always put it in front of you to give your forehead a little resting spot. Three rounds of breath here. Take this opportunity to check in with the mind. What has caught its attention most recently? Getting curious about what was on your mind's to-do list while your body was in the practice. Begin to walk the hands back towards the body, slowly carrying yourself back up to an upright spine. <clears throat> Notice any tingling or sensations you feel in the legs, the hips, maybe even the back. And then gently switch the cross of the legs. Checking in if this side maybe needs a bit of a different leg position. Perhaps you had them stacked on the first side, but this side you just want them crossed, no problem. Inhale, lift tall through the spine, crown reaches towards the top of your space. And as you exhale, walk the hands forward. Any amount, checking in as you get farther and farther down. Is this enough? Is this too much? Do you maybe need to back out? Let this be a practice in honoring the information that's coming in real time from our body to our brain.
and allow yourself to completely curl over if you haven't already. Letting the head hang heavy or rest on a prop. Take three rounds of breath here, inviting the mind to follow from the beginning to the end, to the turnaround to the next breath through these three rounds. And begin to walk the hands back towards your legs, carrying yourself back up to an upright spine. Let the head drift to a, the left side of your space. So left ear comes towards left shoulder. And begin to roll the head forward, allowing the chin to come down towards the chest and eventually Rotating over so the right ear is towards the right shoulder. Rolling back down through center. Come back to the first side. And take two more rotations back and forth of these neck rolls really tracking where you feel the stretch in the shoulder, around the back, the neck. On an inhale, bring the head back up to center. the palms in front of you and bring yourself back into a tabletop position. And once you're here, begin to walk the knees back farther so they're behind your hips and gently lower yourself down onto your belly. Take two rounds of breath here. In this belly down position, just noticing how it feels to breathe with the front body pressing into the earth. Now extend the right arm out to the side so it goes straight out to the side, palm is down on the floor. Right arm is straight out to your side, out from the shoulder. Plant the left palm underneath the shoulder, bending the elbow up towards the ceiling. And press into the left palm, beginning to roll yourself any amount open towards the left side of your space, getting a shoulder stretch in that right shoulder. Now check in here, this may be plenty. If you'd like a little more, you can bend that top leg, press placing the left foot onto the floor behind you, opening up through the hips. Allow the head to rest on the floor. And take some deep breaths here. Final option here, if you'd like even more stretch, you can reach that left arm around 
and interlace the fingers. See if you can even reach <laughs> your right hand. And if you can, you can interlace your fingers. If you've interlaced your fingers, release your grip. Bring the left palm to press into the floor in front of you and slowly roll back onto the belly. Left leg extends long on the floor. Give your right shoulder a moment to unravel and adjust. Bring the right palm underneath the right shoulder so both of your elbows are reaching up and back almost as if you're about to come into a cobra. And then begin to walk the palms forward until your forearms are on the floor and use the strength of your forearms to gently lift your spine up any amount, walking the forearms forward until the elbows are right under the shoulder. Palms are pressing into the earth in front of you. Arms are shoulder width distance apart. So you're on your forearms here. They're creating a right angle. And as you do this, ground your, the tops of your feet into the floor. You can engage the legs towards the center line of the body. Give a little gentle tuck of the tail and engage the lower belly to protect the lower back. And as you press into the floor with your palms, can you Pull the palms for, towards you to gently pull the heart between the shoulders. Gaze can be down at the floor or forward straight ahead for Sphinx pose. Invite some opening through the collarbones, the shoulder blades to embed maybe a little deeper into the back towards the spine. And walk the palms even farther forward until the arms are completely outstretched in front of the body and the head comes back down to the earth. Take a big stretch in this prone position. Maybe even if you have a hard floor in front of you, crawling the palms forward until you get a stretch under the armpits, under the shoulder blades. Open your left arm out to the side of your space in this T position with the left palm planted into the earth. Walk the right palm underneath the shoulder and begin to press into that right palm until you roll over onto the left side, coming into the shoulder stretch on the other side, checking in here. Do you want to lift that upper leg and plant the right foot down? If you do this, Try tenting your right fingertips. I'll flip around so you can see what I mean. So creating a little tent so that your fingertips are on the floor but the palm is lifted. Allowing the head to rest on the floor. Option to close the eyes. Just 
check in with the mind. Bringing compassion and curiosity to whatever its focus may have been when I mentioned check in with the mind. And maybe invite it back to rest its awareness on the breath and the physical sensations you're experiencing in the body. Practicing this dedication towards self and towards embodiment by using the power of all of these elements of self to sync together during this time of yoga. And so often we walk through the world our body go in one direction and our mind and our breath are completely other. Opportunity for the last few breaths here to reach that right arm around and interlace the fingers. If you've interlaced the fingers, go ahead and release that grip. Take the right palm and place it on the floor and use that right arm strength to slowly roll yourself back down onto the belly. Stretching both arms out overhead. Give that left shoulder a minute to readjust. Replant that right palm underneath the shoulder. Use it to roll yourself over onto your left side once again. Legs stacked on top of each other. This time take your left hand and use it to support your head. Coming into this sort of loungy position. And from here, extend through that bottom left leg. Flex the foot up towards your face. Really engaging it to press into the floor. Bend that right knee, open it out to the side so it's going towards the ceiling and take a grip with your right hand to that right foot. Option here, use a strap too, or a towel to get a little bit better grip on the foot. And then begin to extend the leg, unbending the knee, straightening the leg any amount, coming into the sleeping Vishnu position. Three more breaths here. Gently rebend this extended right leg and let it return back on top of the left leg, releasing your grip with the hand. Place the right palm onto the floor. Allow yourself to roll back down onto the belly. And as you do so, keep rolling until you come to the other side. 
extending the right arm out and then bending the elbow so that your right hand supports the head. Legs are stacked on top of each other. Bend that left knee, reaching it towards the ceiling as you get a grip on your foot or wrap a strap around it, which I'll demonstrate doing that. And then begin to extend the leg any amount, checking under the hamstring and the glute. Coming into this other side of sleeping Vishnu. Do you find yourself being a little roly poly, kind of rolling around back and forth? Check in with all of the parts of your body that are pressing into the earth and can you really ground into those places, using them as a foundation and trusting them to keep you upright. Check in with that left shoulder. If it's really scrunched up next to the ear, invite it to relax down away from the jaw, away from the ear. Two more breaths. Rebend that top knee, release the grip of the hand and gently place the left leg down on top of the right. Release the right hand from the head, extend it long and roll over onto your back. Release the hands down to the sides of your space so they're resting on either side of the hip. Bend the knees. Place the feet on the floor, hip width distance apart. Take an inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Bend the right knee into the chest. Wrap your hands around the knee, give it a little squeeze. And then release the right ankle to cross over onto the left knee. Right knee opens out. So you're coming into this figure four position, creating a triangle between your knees and your groin. This may be plenty stretch. If you'd like a little bit more, you can pull the knees in towards, or I'm sorry, lift the left foot off the ground and pull all of the shape in towards the body by reaching the right hand between the legs and the left hand around the back of the left thigh to interlace behind the left thigh, giving yourself a little bit more traction, using the grip to pull the legs in while simultaneously engaging the legs away from the body. So you're creating these opposing forces. Legs are engaged. Bringing in the opening of that stretch around the IT band, the glute. And as you connect to your breath, can you breathe into your sacrum? Can you really feel your tail on the earth? beneath you and breathe into that space almost as if it had a lung in and of itself. Release the left foot to the floor if it's lifted. Release your grip. Place the right foot back onto the floor as well. Take a moment to feel what it's like to release that stretch. And 
and then cross the left angle, ankle over the right knee, coming to a figure four on the other side. Check in if this is enough stretch or if you'd like a little bit more. Reach your left hand between the legs, right hand wraps around the back of the right thigh to grip the left hand. And engage the legs to gently pull away from the body as you tug them in towards the body with your hands. And release the right foot back to the earth if you've lifted it. Let the left foot also return to the earth. Walk the feet in a little bit closer towards the sit bones so the, the heels are right underneath the knees. If you have a block, have that nearby. Ground into the backs of the shoulders, the feet the palms pressing down into the earth beneath you. Slight scoop of the tail and begin to engage the backs of the legs to lift the pelvis up off the floor, placing the prop underneath your sacrum, coming into a supported bridge pose. Allowing the spine to unwind. To have a different relationship with gravity. Connect to the breath here. Noticing how it feels different in this gentle inversion. Option here to lift one leg up and then the other coming into a supported shoulder stand with the feet reaching towards the ceiling and the knees bent any amount to increase the inversion of the blood flow, lymph drainage. Maybe close the eyes here. If the legs are lifted, go ahead and bend the knees and one at a time, return the feet to the floor. Press the feet down into the floor beneath you to lift the pelvis off of any props you have and place them to the side. Rolling the spine back down to meet the earth beneath it one vertebrae at a time. So the sacrum is the last to come down. Check in with the body here if it would like any final movements, stretches. 
And take the next two minutes to give yourself that. Maybe it's some twists or some happy baby. And eventually make your way to a final resting position. Legs can be extended long, the feet flopping out towards either side, falling open. This doesn't feel great on the low back. We'll always it's the option to bend the knees with the feet on the floor and allow the knees to knock together for support. If you have any blankets or layers, feel free to cover up. Maybe even cover the eyes. Arms can rest at the side or be on the belly. Once you find the place of ease, of as much comfort as is accessible today, allow the eyes to soften or close. And give yourself permission to truly surrender to the force of gravity on your body, becoming heavy allowing it to press you firmly into that which supports this corpse pose, whether it's the mat or prop. Let your bones become solid and grounded. Relax through the jaw. the roof of the mouth. And as you take the next few moments to receive your practice, to allow the reverberations of this stretching to play their course, Invite the mind to rest on the breath, whether it stays there or not. It's really here nor there. The gentle invitation is plenty. I'll return in a few moments to guide you out of this relaxation.
Begin to deepen the breath, sending the nourishment of oxygen into the body to be absorbed by cells all the way down to your toes. Feeding this incredibly complex and capable system of breath and circulation. And give the fingers a little wiggle, maybe the toes. And as you're ready, roll yourself to one side, knees bending in towards the chest, coming into a fetal position. Head can rest on the bicep against the arm, against the floor. And as we move further into the season of gratitude, can you honor and truly acknowledge how much showing up it takes for you to carve out time for this practice? And simultaneously bringing in gratitude for each other for showing up to this mutual space. And from this fetal position, this symbol of potential, of growth, of a new beginning. Press one palm into the earth and carry yourself up to a seated position. Bring the palms to touch together in front of the heart. An acknowledgement of our practice together. Gently bow the head. Thank you for showing up today. You can release the hands, take on some light with the eyes, and welcome in your weekend.